Oh, my leader's still alive. He's fine. He literally just made three units route, and then he they just decided to run away. My leader didn't route. I just routed three units with my leader. We definitely could have got like another thousand, two thousand kills maybe in that battle, I feel. I don't even know. Like this makes me just want to like stop playing Warhammer 2 altogether, like not even do another campaign on it. It's really frustrating me. Okay, well, take two, I guess. I'm just saying you might as well do it on normal or hard. Yeah, maybe. Well, how are we going to do this? I feel like it's just a simple, like, stay on the walls, maybe try and take down one of these towers with Val's hand built. Um, What are we defending? Are oh, we defending here? This is quite. I like this map quite a lot. Uh, we're gonna keep our white lines back here. Spearman. Keep one of the spearmen on the walls. Actually, it might make that even an archer unit. They don't have many archers themselves. Understood. Have these spearmen go back. Alright, I have my noble come back to the square. And uh, I will start the battle. Alright, let's try and make sure that my towers target the same. Probably one on the right's better. Wait, what? Okay, it does have 70% damage, that's good. I might actually be destroyed. Lord Hammer's saying, relax, you fought an unwinnable battle and did a lot of dam damage, yeah, but I could have done a hundred times more. That's what annoys me the most. It's all about just doing maximum damage. I think that's like the first, <laughs> the first tower I've ever destroyed with Val's Anvil. I must have buffed it or something because it used to only do like 50% damage. That's still absorbing shots. That seems silly. Alright, whatever. We can pull, pull back now. Archers back. Our 
Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like I don't want to play the Vortex campaign again. I might do it in like Mortal Empires. I might even just like mod a Mortal Empires playthrough, but I kind of don't want to mod a playthrough unless it's my only playthrough of that game because it looks really awkward like turning on and off the mods all the time. So what we might do is um, I'll sort out a yeah like like maybe a modded playthrough of Warhammer 2 on the new channel in the new year. And then we'll just end all of the vanilla playthroughs for Warhammer 2. As you say, fear not, our defenses are archers. Alright, we're good. This should be fine. March! March! Let's pace. sprint to our defenses! Swiftly! Acknowledge! Orders to see! Asa, move! I mean, when they say like ass or, ass or forwards, I always think they're saying like ass forwards, like get your ass forwards. I guess what we could do is maybe like Val Zampil one of these. Okay or not? Wait, what? Did that just destroy the wall? Okay. Fine. <laughs> And these chaos marauders die so quickly. And the marauder horsemen, they're just gonna die. Dauntless. Avenger says the Vortex campaign seems a bit tedious after a while because it's pretty much the same cutscenes with different viewpoints. Yeah. Vacuum spell that the shadow mages get. Yeah, there are some ma there are some spells that like Skaven get that are really broken, especially when they like abuse them in the very hard difficulties. Alright, we're holding on. This should be pretty simple. I'm just gonna speed it up because it's just gonna be a slaughter. My archers continue to fire away. Kill off those marauder horsemen. Let me get the eagle into that engagement. No hounds can engage the marauder horsemen. The fuck was that? Oh, that. <laughs> Alright. But well, whatever. I think the novelty of the Vortex campaign kind of has worn off towards the end of this campaign especially just because of how tedious it's become not e it's not even like that fun anymore same happened with the dark elf campaign towards the end there there's been there's been points in these campaigns that have been really good and then there's been points in these campaigns that has just been absolutely trash and um I feel like it's a shame that that's even the, like able to happen at all. Because some of the Total War games in the past have just been spectacular. What is this? I mean, I know pathfinding in towns has always been terrible, but... Come on. I'm just going to go and attack these Chaos Marauders with the Silver Helms. Um, because they may as well do something, right? They will do a lot of damage to infantry. All 
Right, the spearmen have held quite well. We'll let the white lines do the job now. Charge, boys. Maybe white lions can actually defeat Chaos Marauders. Can't seem to kill much else. <laughs> I wonder that London Sea Guard used up all of its ammunition. I'm gonna try and break off my Silver Helms here. Because they've kind of been swarmed. I'm still firing at their Chaos Lord here. We'll get the Eagle to engage him. And the Noble can come along to help as well. Right, their lord's gone. <sighs> if only it caused all of their units to route, hey. Maybe it did this time. <laughs> We defended our settlement, although it's just ripe for the taking from the Dark Elves now. I'm gonna get the uh, replenishment, even though it's a garrison army. That's because the Cult of Pleasure is literally sitting right next to it. Okay. Right, the Skaven armies are coming on through. So go into Hualatol and we'll get into Iquibol. And maybe we can intercept these armies. Right, let's get Stand Your Ground. One that we're chasing. I mean, we've got two armies sort of in line to stop these three. So I guess we chase this one. Get the power drain there for the extra winds of magic. Aramir. Your orders are reasonable. I don't know if he'll be reinforced if he attacks here. I just have to retreat if he's not. Retreat! Back! We are ill at ease. Can I offer assistance? I guess whatever they siege, it might not matter. Let's just go and get that quick. Anchors away. You need me. Move Lightning back into switch. the Ultra of the Horn Rat. Cool. Order must be maintained. Uh, we're Star is still in ambush stance. Loyal Prince. Lethal grace given form. Uh Doug's saying, yeah, recruit a couple. Sea Guard. I can't actually because we're not in friendly territory anymore. So, otherwise I would. My infinite knowledge is yours.
Don't spend any of our money because I need it just in case. Let's end the turn. Like, I'm not frustrated. Like, even if I lost, I wouldn't be frustrated because I lost. I would be frustrated because of the shitty mechanics. Like... <laughs> that's that's the main the main issue that I'm having with the game. Lawland's coming up with an army. That might make things work. <laughs> Lord Hammer's starting to think like me now. He says, Vulcan, crazy idea, attack with Wistara. If she dies, it's all good. It will save your economy. <laughs> No, I'm going to attack uh, maybe next turn. Actually, no, not next turn. We'll see where that Lothan army ends up. And then if they end up dying or whatever, then maybe I'll just attack after that. Alright, his Lancer is just dead. Like, what's with this overkill? Please. Did you see the strength bar of Lothan actually? Like, how badly that was? How bad that was? Oh, this is good. They're actually sieging that. Okay, cool. I guess we'll just let that be sieged. Because, like, in a defensive battle with the units we have in there, in there, we, we should win. Quite convincingly, actually. Alright, so we're, we're sort of on the edge of destroying quite a few Cult of Pleasure armies. Let me ask if I move into range, do I get to play as reinforcements? Actually, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I probably should do that. Well, because yes, we do. Alright, so if that army is coming up to attack, whoa, that is a pretty sick army as well. What would you okay, have cool. Yeah, well, that's a good shout. Done. We'll move into range. Um, the only issue with doing that is... Moving out. We march. We lie in wait. I'm going to ambush stance so maybe they don't see me. And then... Um, if they come up and attack it, then we will be alright. Defender of the Ever Queen. <laughs> that would be good. Okay, good shout, good shout, Remy. Avengers saying he sent me something. Well, hold on, guys. Gotta check this out. <laughs> um. Oh boy. What did you send me? Dick pic. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, oh, thank you, man. Thank you for the $10, Avenger. Really appreciate that. <laughs> uh, that's good. Thanks. I needed that. I, I mean, that's a nice boost, you know? Makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Avenger saying you wish. <laughs> uh, good times. Right. Thank you, man. I really, really, really appreciate that. And of course, all of the the patrons and any money like I've, I've had quite a few new patrons recently and I really appreciate all of it it's great it really just you know keeps me going <laughs> okay so these armies are looking ripe for the taking I'm taking a lot of attrition that army hasn't moved far enough so we're gonna oh. the fuck Okay, whatever. Whatever, calm down. Calm down. I could have been in range to attack Rel. But I, I must have misclicked again. I mean... Fuck if I know. 
Um, we'll have Melwyn take out the first one. Right, we're going to quick save this and fight it on the battle map. Brian says, love what you do, Vulcan. Plus your voice and beard are godworthy. <laughs> Cheers, man. Thank you very much. Mr. Schmini going to be putting more quotes into Vulcan says on Discord. Lovely. <laughs> going to be careful what I say now. What are you doing to me? All right, let's start deployment. We'll line up the wall of Lord and Sea Guard. Uh, is this? Yes, yeah, we have to rush forwards, don't we? Uh, we'll have the Phoenix card behind. I'm going to spread them out pretty thin. We'll have our dragons and Melwyn fly forwards. Keep our light mage with us, and the dragon princes can go on a run around the flanks. All right, let's start the battle. Um, I'll just sort of group these guys, and we'll move forwards slightly. Let's go. Dragon princes should be on their way as well. They just use on him with a okay, that's fine. Alright, the dragon prince is getting in there. Straight away. Love it. <laughs> I love the way, like, my dragons are just flying around. And my dragon princes are literally taking on the whole army on their own. Let's get out of there with the dragon princes for now. <laughs> right, she needs to hurry up. No, we'll get the dragon princes out of there. Um, our archers are now in position, so that's just going to decimate their army, hopefully. Making my way. Making my way downtown. Right, let's uh, go get that doom wheel with one of the dragons. these Deborah I don't know we'll get um, into this hell pit abomination anyway um, kind of need to get my Phoenix card forwards and engage with those oh, that's fine let's get a banish going maybe banishment Into those plague monks and sparrows, the clan rats of shields actually caught up to my to my men there. Why are these guys not firing? I guess they're not angled properly. Did you guys see that? That like was jumping around. I don't know. 
Southern Seagull. Swiftly. Going abroad. I'm going abroad. Why is she going abroad for? Get another banishment down there. And um, we can go for a burn and time warp actually. A burn is time warp is actually really strong. Extra speed and uh, melee attack for everybody in the in the center of it. Which is pretty crazy. And I think my Venus card there are getting ripped up by my own <laughs> spell. But that's fine. Wait, there's still one play core catapult alive. Really? Alright. Alright, that's job done there anyway. Ah, decisive victory. Oh, our mage actually got 149 kills, that's nice. Get the replenishment there. One army down. Move on to the next one. I'll probably double team that one. Get Techless to come over and crush it. Mage is auto resolve that one. Nice. And then we can move on with Techless on his own. To the next one. Destroy them. No, oh, maybe not. Command me. I don't know. Marching I'm gonna march back to Hulatol so that we have the replenishment there. I've also I'm leveled up Melwin, which is nice. Oh master. I have heard their and uh, Vrlon has Arcane Conduit now. She's maxed out banishment, so Lilith's blessing blessing gives us extra winds of magic power reserve, doesn't it? So we'll go for that. Um Right, we're just gonna put him in normal stance and allow that siege to pop, and then they like assault me. That's fine. Uh, so Aramir in a good spot there. Right, we do have quite a lot of cash. Aphazel. No, he's fine. Right, Slansler. Isn't un oh is under siege okay. I'm not gonna upgrade any of these yet. I'm still worried about cash or any. <laughs> anyway, that's everything done. Let's move on to the next turn. Let's hope that we reinforce Lothar and if they attack. 